Hey everyone, how's everybody doing out there in YouTube land? Hey, it's Mike here and um, uh, a little bit bummed out. Um, you know, if you're a car guy like me, uh, you're never really satisfied with just a, a standard manufacturer, you know, made car. You always have to do some mods, kind of make it your own, kind of customize it to whatever you want. And I am the same way, obviously. And um, if you're familiar with the Saturn Sky or the Pontiac Solstice, you'll know that the interior panel of the doors uh, come in three different modes or three different colors. You can get solid black, which is what I have, uh, or you can get black with kind of a red insert in part of the panel or black with a uh, tan insert, depending on the, the, uh, the color trim that you have inside in the seats and things. And like I said, mine's solid black. And I'm thinking, you know what? Everybody else that has solid black is um, the same as mine. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try something a little bit different. And I'm going to see if I can uh, modify those inserts and make them either a, a silver or a gray or something to kind of match the outside, the exterior of my car. And I thought that was, hey, that's a pretty good idea. So I looked at the panel and it looked to me like you can go ahead and pop those things off of there. And I can either wrap them or paint them or plastic dip them or do whatever I want to do once I get them out of there. So, um, so I go ahead and, and I look at it and sure enough, you can pull those out of there. So I took the old uh, trim tool that I have and I put it in there and and popped a couple of what I thought were clips and again I thought were clips were actually plastic welds that they have the panel connected to the uh, to the main door trim uh, panel so uh, of course I wasn't satisfied just breaking one of them I had to actually break two of them I was like oh you gotta be kidding me I can't believe these aren't just the normal you know clips that they use on on just about every other part of the car so um, so anyway I'm trying to think of a way I can fix that you know being that they're plastic welds and I saw couple of YouTube videos where they go and they'll add some um, use some super glue and some baking soda or baking powder mix it together and uh, it kind of creates almost like a plastic weld itself so uh, I figured you know what what the heck it's on the inside of the door it's not gonna hurt anything so I'm gonna go ahead and give that a try so um, we're gonna try that out next and I will let you know if it's gonna be a, uh, a success or a fail and show you how to do it so if you have no matter what kind of car it doesn't have to be a Saturn sky it can be any kind of car you have if you if you break some kind of a clip or something like that and you need to weld that back together, uh, this might be the solution uh, that you're looking for. So go ahead and watch and we'll see if it's a success. If it isn't, I'm going to let you know and you're going to see it right there as well. So anyway, we're going to give this a shot and hopefully it works. Okay, so this is the panel that I wanted to go ahead and uh, kind of change the color of it. I thought it was a quick pull it, pull it apart kind of a thing. So I started pulling it apart. Well, little did I realize you look on the inside see if I can get in there it is actually right here a plastic weld and you can see it popped out there that's kind of hard to tell but anyway there it is Let's see if I can get over a little bit better there it is right there you can see the little the little tabby thing inside there and I pull the panel away there it goes push it back in it's back in there again so Unfortunately, it's not a clip, which I thought it was going to be. And then there's another one that's up underneath all of this uh, insulation here. So um, I'm going to kind of tear that out. They really, I mean, if nothing else, General Motors uses some pretty serious glue whenever they glue this kind of stuff down. But um, I'm going to at least fix this one. And if, uh, if that works, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to tear this off a little bit and hopefully get to the other one because I did, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, just break one of them. I had to break two of them. Uh, just because you know that's just the way I am but anyway I'm going to go ahead and, and give this a shot I'm going to try to show you as I'm doing it I am um, holding a camera in one hand so it might be a little bit difficult but uh, I'll, hopefully it works and I will get started all right so here's are the two items that I'm going to be using some uh, super glue gorilla super glue the only stuff I could find was the gel I don't know if the gel matters or not hopefully it doesn't matter uh, and some baking soda so these are the two things that are going to Kind of work together to create a, a plastic bond and hopefully hold that piece in uh, back the way it was. So I've got my fingers crossed and I'm going to go ahead and get started. All right, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pour a bunch of super glue in here. Get it all around there. Make sure I get enough inside there. Because it is a gel, it just kind of stays there, which is nice. I hope. And I'm going to go ahead and get some the baking soda pour some of that on there
and we're just gonna kind of mix it in with there. Oh, probably couldn't see that. I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it in there. I know it's kind of tough to do this with one hand, sorry. And record at the same time. So if you can't see what I'm doing, it's because I'm trying to see what I'm doing too. I'll pour some more glue in there, really get it built up. And some more baking soda. Got that in there. And mix it all around. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let that dry. See if that worked. Here we go. Let that dry, see if that worked. And if it does, I'm going to maybe attempt, depending on how difficult it is to get this insulation off here, maybe attempt to do the other one as well. If not, maybe this one, if it's stuck in there pretty good, it'll be uh, it'll be good enough just to hold the whole thing in there. So anyway, we'll, uh, I'll come back whenever it's dry. Okay, so I went back, it's dried. But what I did before it was dry, <clears throat> I actually checked it and it uh, it popped back out again. So, uh, but as you can see, this is actually I get focus. This is actually like plastic now. Um, so what I did because it popped out a little bit, I went and I added. A, I already did it, but I added a little more super glue to the clip from the inside uh, on both of them. Actually, there was one on one here and one there to both sides and then I poked them back in there while they're still wet and um, I think that's going to do the trick so if you're looking for something or if you have some plastic or whatever or you have plastic to plastic some kind of repair like that you can actually use um, looks like you can use super glue and baking soda I know it's not my idea I saw it on YouTube myself but uh, it actually did kind of work here with this uh, with this clip that I broke and uh, hopefully uh, I learned my lesson and uh, I only break one next time, not two. So um, anyway, it's a good idea. Whoever came up with it, not sure, sure who that was, but uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, not me breaking things, but uh, different kind of repairs, just go ahead and uh, leave comments below.